China strikes again. This time the card reader. It's very seldom that I buy or use things made in China. This was given to me as a gift and despite the awful made in China aura that it radiates, I did end up using it because I kinda liked it. It was it was practical because I use external hard drives quite a bit and I also use memory cards often and I have several different kinds that I use between all the cameras that I have I believe there's a total of four different memory cards that I use and this contraption would read three of them so rather than having four different card readers I could use this one and one other one and only have two not to mention there was something nice about having this plugged into the computer and then the box itself sitting up on the table where you can very easily plug in and out the memory cards and the hard drives easily in reach on top of the desk. There's something that always bothered me about it and that is the fact that you sit on the desk like this and you have the wire drops down behind the table you know so this is the table and then it ends here the wire goes back and that leaves you with the wording being upside down. That's ridiculous but I kinda got past that this also had a very blaring, obnoxious blue light on it, which I would just kind of push under the monitor and, you know, deal with that. So it wasn't perfect, but it worked. Used it for a couple of weeks, maybe, and then the computer would not start up with this plugged in. It would hang during the, uh, the bootloader screen and it simply would not proceed to the operating system with this connected. So it got to the point where I had to unplug this after every time I used it, otherwise I wouldn't be able to turn the computer back on. So I'm plugging it in and out quite often and that kind of defeated the purpose of having it because if I'm going to climb under the computer to plug something in, I might as well just plug in the hard drive or the memory card directly to the computer. I kept using it anyways because of the practicality of the different cards that you could read on this thing. And then it got to the point, another couple of weeks later, where it would occasionally read the cards and occasionally just not. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. A couple of times it screwed up the cards formatting and the data got lost and then it got to the point where one day it just wasn't working at all. And I had unplugged it and plugged it several times, which usually would fix it. Still wasn't working. Then I unplugged it for the final time. And the, the USB plug came out of this and stayed within the computer. And that entered a whole other freak show into the world because I had to dissect the computer to get the thing out of the USB port. Anyways, so here we have yet another Made in China fail. Here we go. Made in China. It doesn't even have a brand on here. It's so cheap. And, and this is just a summary of why I usually never bother with things like this. Sure, it's nice to have the thing on top of the table. Yeah, it's great to be able to reach next to my keyboard and plug in the memory card versus climbing under the desk and plugging it into the computer box itself. But what good is it if it only lasts a month? What good is it if it works half the time and doesn't work half the time? What good is it if it creates so much additional frustration that you might as well just do the original task the, the, the way I was going to do it before? All these products are like this. These, these products from China. They're manufactured such that they work long enough for the customers to be fallaciously satisfied they're manufactured inexpensively enough such that the manufacturer gets a good product or not a good product a good um, profit from selling it and it's cheap enough that most people won't be bothered to return it when it breaks so these these Chinese companies they make an existence off of selling things that are so abysmal yet so cheap it's not worth the hassle to, to return them and get a refund and so they make the money off of off of uh, it's a scam it's a complete and total scam and this is what happens 
when you buy things made in China. And that's why I really try to avoid buying things made in China. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that you can't find vintage or made in American alternatives, like card readers, for instance. So now I'm back to phase one with the card readers uh, getting the the USB cord out and plug it into the camera, plug it into the computer and doing it that way because I'm not buying the card reader. This is ridiculous.